Methane is a greenhouse gas whose production has rocketed due to human activities. It comes from oil and gas drilling and from landfills. But actually, the largest source of methane on the planet uh, is from the agriculture sector. And most of that comes from cows. Their stomachs have an enzyme that creates methane as a byproduct of digestion, methane that is burped out by the animals. And nature's created the beautiful arrangement that this seaweed produces these quite powerful inhibitors that block that enzyme in cows. The seaweed is called asparagopsis. The primary active compound in it is called bromoform. Steve Miller and his company want to grow the seaweed in land-based operations that you might compare to fish farms. And to find the best kind of asparagopsis to grow, Miller's company is getting some help from a marine biologist at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Can we find a supremely fast-growing seaweed that also produces a whole bunch of bromoform? Jen Smith's lab at Scripps Oceanography is growing different kinds of the seaweed in different conditions. Smith is working with Meller's company to optimize the production of the plant. The key is to find the right strain of asparagopsis for farming. My lab has the freedom and flexibility to do the research that can help inform the commercialization of the species at scale. Asparagopsis is not cattle feed. It's an additive that's less than 1% of what the cow eats. Even so, CH4 Global and companies like it would have to be able to make a lot of it at a low enough price to supply the world's cattle farms with a meaningful amount. Now it's a, a matter of can we produce enough to have a global impact to be able to see these methane reductions in our lifetime. Steve Meller says he's been producing asparagopsis in tanks, but he says he'll increase efficiency by growing it in saltwater ponds. Effectively, imagine in front of you was a large swimming pool, but the swimming pool's only a meter deep. Methane may be a smaller global warming problem than CO2 because there's a lot less of it, but it has 30 times the warming potential. Jen Smith says by feeding the seaweed to cows, we could really start to manage the world's methane problem. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.